Good morning. It is, I think, the 7th of October, Wednesday, here on planet Earth, as my friend Ali is saying every day on her vlogs. <laughs> it makes me giggle every time. Uh, Wilf is in lessons. He He's on Microsoft Teams and it seems to be going okay, so that's good. Much better than before the summer holidays, thank goodness. Ted, on the other hand, um, I'm less impressed because, not his fault, because um, the provision is, I, th I feel very much that they should be included in every lesson online, as Wilf is being, but um, it's not happening. And I'm not 100% sure what the provision is meant to be, so I need to have a look. I need to have a look anyway. It is a, it's a lovely day. Looks like we we were so close to having a frost. It's definitely dewy out there. On the, today's agenda for me is... Well, it's a bit weird, really, because I, I feel like I can't settle into anything because I keep bouncing up to help Wilf. I've always got an ear cocked. I'm on high alert. Mm. Mm. Oh, one good thing. I lost my darning mushroom. I couldn't find it anywhere. But it's not often that I lose something. So that was really bothering me that I could not find my darning mushroom. But when I was looking for my tripod that I have misplaced, I found my darning mushroom. I'm glad I found my darning mushroom because I've got a hole in this very sweet little sort of mohair bolero top that I no longer wear. So I'm sending it off to charity. What is it made of? It's so soft. Absolutely lovely. Doesn't tell me. Oh yeah, here we go. Angora, Angora. It's so soft. Um, so I'm going to fix that today and send that off down to charity shop. We, are, I'm always very careful about moths because, obviously, having a healthy stash of yarn and a healthy stash of knitwear, hand knits, I keep on top of it. But um, occasionally, you get one. It's weird, but the village is rife with moths, absolutely rife. On the um, village Facebook, not so long ago, there were a lot of people doing the whole, how do I get rid of moths? I've just moved my sofa and my carpet is gone. Apparently it's because people don't spring clean like they used to do. The tradition is gone. We all sort of clean as we go rather than rip everything out of a room and give it a really good once over and put everything back but yeah it's our own fault for being lazy housekeepers <laughs> i'm kidding i'm out with the dog ah! <laughs> there she is <laughs> um not raining for once which is lovely in fact when i set off the sun was out which was gorgeous still a bit chilly so i've got my earmuffs on because my headband isn't ready there's a tiny plane going over can you see it i can't see if you can see it toby says i look a rare sight he doesn't approve of my new cagoule. <laughs> my last cagoule I had to throw away because um, it was 17 years old. No, that's a big lie. No, it's not a big lie. It was about 17 years old. Golly. And um, it all started to kind of delaminate. So it wasn't cagooling anymore. So I had to bin it. And um, I've been looking for ages for one of these ones that that are completely made of light reflective material so that I'm safe on the road. There's a small part of road through the woods where you have to walk to get back home when I take this particular route. And um, 
I think I'm more likely to get run over than I am to get attacked. So, hang on, I've got to navigate a stile. This is a stile. You climb over it like this. And you have to do it no hands because of COVID. So you have to precariously balance whilst the dog is pulling you with the lead. And look. Boom. You have to really look out for all the obstacles. And it's slidey and muddy. Where did I get to? So this cagoule, look at it. Can you see how it's really, it's literally glow in the dark, like reflective. It's brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can turn the torch on and record from the other side of the phone to see if it will really light up. Hold on. There. Is it working? Can you see how luminous I am? I'm like glow in the dark. <laughs> that is incredible, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Toby says he wouldn't be seen dead with me looking like this, but he would be the dead one because I would be alive and not run over because I would have been seen. Oh my goodness, there's people on my walks, four of them. <gasps> Sharon, I was just about to do a piece to camera when this happened and it made me think of you. So here you go, if it's peaceful where you are right now, have a bit of that. <laughs> it's a leaf blower! If you know, you know. Look how happy he is with his leaf blower. So a happy man. <laughs> Are you happy dogs? Are you happy dogs? No, I'm not happy because you're not sitting down and I am not on your lap. And the only place I'm happy is when I'm on your lap. Margo, okay. you pretty girl. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm so pretty. Just puff up my hair a little bit. Chase my tail. I got it. I got it. Ah, plop. Are you a happy girl? Are you a happy girl? Is that your waggy tail? It's my waggy tail. I I just want to sit on your lap, but you've not got a lap. Go away, Margo. It's my turn to talk to the camera. She always gets in the way, Mum. Oh, little face. What is it, Margo? Is it the man? Is it the leaf blower? There he goes. Proof, and I'm watching Sharon from the SCR1 TNO podcast. I left her a message the other day to say um, uh, something about her leaf blower chaps gardening. Could we have a look at it? Is it immaculate? And she said, There's high walls all the way around, but <laughs> I also said that her scary music gives me heart palpitations. I think it brings back a memory from a movie or something and it makes my heart start to race. So I mentioned it. Bless her. She's just said she change it. <laughs> she doesn't need to change it, does she, Toby? Who? Sharon. Who's Sharon? She's a vlog vlogger. Uh, yeah, change it, Sharon. No, don't change it, Sharon. 
Because it's not a horrible music. It just mm -hmm. gives me a, I don't know, like a memory. I think it just triggers a memory. Hilarious, that's so funny. <laughs> Bless you, but no. Leave it as it is. As soon as I sit down, they know I've sat down. No, don't claw at me because I'm wearing my new top. I bought a new top. Don't do that. No. Look, you're here. Snuggle it. Get in that nook. Get in that nook. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I got a new top. It's made of silk and it's absolutely glorious. Now, I, um, I'm a bit funny about silk ever since I learned from my friend Nikki. Nikki Winterton, Clara Pegatty. Um, sheep and cheerful podcast. Oh my goodness! Oh, sorry. I shouldn't be tired because I got up later than normal. Did you get my stomach? Later than normal today. Right, I'm whizzing off on a billion tangents. So, um, I am picky about silk ever since I learned how silk is harvested. It's not very nice. So I am careful where I buy silk items from. I like to know that it's that they're um that they hand harvest the silk and they don't boil the poor moths alive. So if I can't trace if I can't see how ethical a company is, I don't buy from them but I will buy things secondhand. So this top is by a company called Pure and I haven't um I haven't actually checked them out. I don't know what their stand is but I bought it on eBay for six pounds and I think it is lovely. It does have some staining on the sleeves but nothing major. Um, and since that I'm not wearing it as a save it for best top, I'm literally wearing it on a Wednesday doing my ironing. I don't really care about the stains on the sleeves. It looks like it's been kept in a wardrobe. She keeps pouring at me. It looks like it's been kept in a wardrobe um, and has got some storage staining. That's all. So Wilfred's in a right old strop with me because he's found out that I promised Bill some V-Bucks, which is a gaming currency, um, as as a bribe to get him um, to get through the COVID test yesterday. So now Wilf's storming around saying, Bill was your favourite child. I want V-Bucks. And I said to him, when you have a COVID test, you can have V-Bucks. And he's not happy with that. <laughs> um, I had something else I wanted to talk to you about. I've got my knitting here. Because I thought I'd sit down for half an hour and do my knitting before getting on with the supper. We're so lucky. My friend Wendy yesterday, she's Chinese, she just dropped off a whole load of um, dumplings, pot stickers, and the sauce. So we're going to have those for supper. Um, plus something else. Going to have to add something else to it. I don't know. Well, maybe just some roasted veg. Stir fry might do something like that. I think I've got some noodles. Quite a few of the vlogs that I've been watching have been given a list of other people who are participating in Vlogtober. So I thought I would do the same. I am not keeping up with all of these. I don't know what that noise was. I, I haven't started watching all of these. The ones that I am watching, I'm watching Bonnie from Meadow Sweet Fibre, Meadow Sweet Farm Fibre Arts. I'll link all of these down below. Bonnie has just the loveliest voice. Um, I will be watching Bex Creates. She's doing hers in weekly parts, I think. So I'll be watching her. 
Um, obviously, I'm watching Ali, The Two Drops of Wonderful. I've been watching Green Lambkin. Um, I feel like my mind goes blank when I start doing this. I've written some of them down, but the ones that I've been watching, I thought I won't need to write those down because I'll just remember them. They're in my head. <laughs> um, I started watching So Unique today. Oh, I'm watching Sharon, S-E-R-1, T and O. Um, Simply Serving, I started watching hers yesterday, so I've got a few of hers outstanding, so she's completely new to me. Babbles Travelling Yarn, I haven't watched that yet, new to me again. Um, and Lonely Knitter, I haven't watched that, again, completely new to me. So there we go, that's my list and I'll pop it down below. Right, well I'm cooking. Oh my cake. Finished cooking the cake. Uh, it's this recipe. I'll find it online and link it below, but it is really yummy. Really yummy. Um, I wanted to say quickly that Bill is feeling much better today. Still got a horrible cough. Um, his temperature seems better. He's still got, he just feels rubbish. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, but you know, I'm not Nothing I'm yet. Not worried about him. What results? Yeah. No results. We did it yesterday morning. I know, they said forty eight hours and if you don't hear then you have to ring a number. So fingers crossed we will hear. Yeah, so thanks for the well wishes and he is definitely not getting worse. I would say he is getting better. I really don't think it's COVID. I really think it's um, a reaction to the flu vaccine, but you just have to do track and trace. Um, Wendy made dumplings, so we've got those, you know, the Chinese. Ones. Get the milk bottle. <gasps> we didn't watch the Bake Off last night because I was on a knit Zoom. So we're watching it now. We've just paused during the break, the adverts, to get a wad of cake and a cup of tea so that we got a little something during the um the judging Yum. thumbs up <laughs> very, very nice cake, Dana. Hmm. When I'll be coming home, then I'll be at your door. When I'll be coming home. 